Have you ever wondered why the spoon in your hot tea gets warm? Energy can be transferred from one object to another object. Hello everyone, today we're gonna learn about energy transfers from Cambridge Primary Science Lena's Book 4. Unit 2 Energy 2.2 Energy Transfers Energy can move. Why does a cup get hot when you put hot water into it? Heat energy makes things get hot. The hot water has heat energy. The heat energy in the hot water moves to the cup. This is an energy transfer. After a while, the cup and the water get cooler. The heat energy does not get used up or disappear. The cup and the water get colder because the heat energy is transferred to other objects or into the surrounding environment. We can think of the way energy moves from one object to as an energy chain. Here is an example of an energy chain for the transfer of heat energy from the water to the cup and surrounding environment. Energy can be transferred from any object that contains energy. Think about the sun. It gives off heat energy and light energy. That energy is transferred through space to the earth. So we have heat and light. Activity Identify energy transfers. Copy and fill in the table to identify the energy transfer in each of the pictures. So let's look at the picture. Here we have four pictures and our job is to figure out what type of energy is being transferred, where it comes from and where it ends. Let's start with picture A. In this picture, we see a person getting ready to kick a football. To kick the ball, the player's muscles use energy from their body. That energy is then transferred to the ball as kinetic energy, causing it to move. So, the player's body is where the energy comes from, and the football is where it is transferred to. Next. We have someone ironing. The iron needs to be hot to work, right? The iron takes electrical energy from the wall outlet. This energy is then transferred into heat energy in the iron space. The iron then transfers this heat energy to the clothes, smoothing out the rickets. So, iron is the source, and the clothes are where the energy is transferred. Let's look at the picture C. Picture C shows a person listening to music with headphones. The music player or phone uses electrical energy from its battery. This energy is transferred to the headphones, which convert it into sound energy that the person can hear. So the energy comes from the headphones and goes into the person's ears as sound. Finally, we have someone flying a kite. This one's a bit different. The kinetic energy of the wind pushes against the kite, causing it to fly. The energy comes from the wind itself and is transferred to the kite which then moves and stays in the air. And there you have it. Remember that energy is never created or destroyed. It simply transfers from one object or system to another. Energy is all around us, constantly on the move, shaping the world in countless ways. By understanding these transfers, you can begin to see the hidden connections in everything from cooking to climate. So, what's a small example of energy transfer you've noticed in your own life today? Leave a comment below 
and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.